Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we are going to be out chasing some big walleyes. Sorry, chasing some walleyes and some big perch hopefully on this beautiful lake out here. It's a big lake. Got the old 16 foot Lund Niswa. That beast, that's what Niswa means. Just kidding. To me it does. But <clears throat> this is my boat. You guys, you probably don't see it very often. But this is a 16, this is an 85 Lund. It's a 16 foot fiberglass boat. I got a 40 horse Johnson on this thing. Big Johnson. Can't beat her. Purrs like a kitten. Couple decent decent units on it. Um, yeah, wide. Gosh, you guys never see my wide, heavy boat. Got one of my, got my sponsor down here, my buddy Mike over at uh, Wits Quality Bait and Tackle. Anyway, gonna be headed out here, probably throwing a jig. Uh, going old school. How often do you see old school out on a on big water like this? A couple split shots, you know, plain hook, just pitching the shiner at these fish so we can locate them. Um, yeah, got a lind rig tied on too. Who knows? We're gonna go out here and we're gonna start catching fish right now. Looking to keep some today myself. Well, that's nice. That's gonna be make a nice fish right there. Here we go. Come on, buddy. First fish of the day, and it's a beauty. And it is caught on two split shots and a sinker. Pitch, you know, shiner. There we go. It's probably a 17 inch fish, which would be a perfect eating walleye. Ooh, look at all those nasty minnows in there from whenever. Ugh. Fill up my live well here and that it's just filling up. so I got 10 pound braid here with like a six foot 10 pound fluorocarbon leader two nice size split shots and just a plain hook I'm pitching to these fish and just dragging it on the bottom on you know the key to catching these fish when you're doing this live bait stuff is you gotta you gotta use a fresh minnow you know use a fresh minnow that way when that minnow hits the bottom it's darting all over the place 
those walleyes see that bait and they react. That's another nice walleye. That guy. Oh yeah. Oh, that's probably a 19. Beauty. Look at, look at that, how chunky this fish is. Man, these things are eating good. This guy is going to go in the box. Let's see how big he is. I don't, keep, I don't like keeping anything over 20. A lot of you guys know that. A lot of you guys don't. Unless I don't. Yeah, there we go. 17 and 3 quarter. Perfect fish. Perfect fish. Let it hit the bottom, let it sit there for a minute, just drag it. Short little pops. shot a couple sinkers ladies and gentlemen right there can you ask for anything more simple for catching walleyes find the fish that another 17 incher in the box I just got picked up. Went from a shiner to a small red tail. That fish. I'm gonna let him tight line me. Then we're just gonna reel into him. Set the hook. There we go. Another walleye. Probably a 16 incher, and he absolutely hammered that red tail. <sighs> Got a little, oh, there's my little players down there, one with my beef jerky. Get that red tail out of there. Guess that red tail's finished. Oh my gosh, I didn't even let him take it very long, and he really choked that bait. Down the back of the mouth here. Boom. Look at that. Nice, healthy walleye. Number four in the box. Throw in that shiner. Switch to a small red tail. I got about a dozen in the box here. For some reason, they did not hesitate to commit to that bait. He ate it and he ran. Oh, 
there we go. Just seen a handful, handful of fish off to the side here. Pitch that shiner over to them. And they instantly hammered it. Got them. Could be a better one. It's got some decent head shakes to it. Oh yeah, that might be a 19 incher. Pretty much a, a match to the rest of them that are in the box here. Awesome. And then we're going to take them. Got them. There we go. Tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, it don't get, it don't get any better than this. Another perfect eater. Right in the tip of the nose, it's probably the smallest one, maybe a 16. These are all 16 to probably, you know, maybe close to 18 inch fish. They're going to make me and my family extremely happy tonight. Give, a little, give a couple to my mom. And uh, yeah, go chase some perch now. Uh, I think we got a bit here. Got him, whatever it is. The way he's fighting, I'm going to get some pike. Perch. What do we got? What do we got here? Oh, it's a walleye. Huh. It's a nice walleye. Oh, it's a really nice walleye. Come on, buddy. Come on. There we go. Well, I don't want to say it was. It's not our target species, but it's really not. There's a, there's a bigger perch we're looking for. Look at that guy. Woo! Baby. Big perch. Oh, oh. That's got to be a... I don't know. Hit that little red tail. That's going in the box for sure. We're going to give you an idea of how big he is. I'm going to say 10 inches. 11. 11 inch your boys. Going in with the wallies. That was instant. Well, we can do that again. It's raining out. No, it's hailing out. Oh, got one. Woo! Ooh, another nice one. Look at that guy. Ha <laughs> ha. Ain't gonna stop me. Hail, rain. No, we're gonna get it. There we go. Ooh, there's some fish. Look like, I don't know if they're perch or what they are, but. Is 
I think I'm gonna put down my troller. That is not <laughs> a perch though. Big old walleye. That's what it is. Huh. <sighs> That's a dandy right there. Oof. Real nice one. But we are not trying to catch walleyes. We're trying to catch perch. There we go. It's probably a solid 20, 21 incher. Hey, what's up you guys? So, got one of these nice walleyes that we kept. Probably a 16 and a half to a 17, 17 incher. One of these nice perch we got into right there. That was an 11 inch fish. All right. So, how we targeted these fish, okay? Around these steep breaks and drop offs, there's just a whole bunch of, you know, sand flats and stuff. It's early in the year, and these fish are not, you know, they're not quite off on those breaks yet. Um, in deep water, it's still the springtime pattern. So I was just going along the tops of these breaks with side imaging, okay? Uh, find the fish with side imaging, go over, it's the easiest way to do it, drop a pin on them, turn around and just cast at the fish. I mean, that's, you know, the gist of it. Uh, you can use, you can, you know, you can mark them with side imaging and then use live imaging to cast at them too. I mean, it's, there's lots of ways you can do it, but probably the, the easiest way that everybody has, or most people have, is some sort of side, side imaging. But for what I was using, um, I did catch just a, just a handful of fish on this here. My tuned up custom rods, Apex Pro. Um, this is a heavier rod, you know, meant for Lindy rigging and, and, and pretty much all walleye fishing. This is a medium light, extra fast seven foot six by the way that's what this is what you should be using for walleye fishing i caught a couple walleyes on this handled those walleyes fantastically okay that was the lindy rig the rod that i caught most of my fish on that i was targeting with is a tuned up custom rods seven foot two apex elite ultralight now that being said don't go and start chasing big walleyes with an ultralight rod because that's not a good idea okay this is a, you know, ultralight action rod. I was coming out here planning on catching smaller walleyes, which you guys saw. That's what I caught. I caught maybe 16 to not even 18 inch fish. But this can, you know, this can handle a small walleye. Do not go chasing any big walleyes with this rod at all. Um, uh, 10 pound Berkeley Nanofil right here, like a six foot, 10 pound Seaguar fluorocarbon leader you can see two split shots there probably the size of my pinky nail probably two feet or so of line just a plain red hook you guys 
putting a shiner on that, casting it right in or around those schools of walleyes. They're on the feed bag, got them triggered. They were hitting like crazy. Came over here, found some big perch, didn't catch a ton of them, but caught just enough where I'm happy. And, and caught a bunch of walleyes over here too we had to throw back, which is fine. I mean, catch and release is a good thing. Today, kept my limit of walleyes. Why not? I like to eat fish. Uh, yeah. By the way, oh, reels. Well, you know, I do have two Fluger Presidentials on these, by the way. Um, they're actually a really, really good reel. Yeah, gosh, I don't, I don't even know what else to tell you guys. Um, fishing season is obviously here. The, the bite is extremely good right now. Um, go out, try and catch yourself some walleyes. Thanks for watching. Peace out.